Hi everyone, this is Ira Dubey. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. If you haven't done so, all you need to do is click right here on this button. Now, I've got to admit that the title of the latest film to hit theatres, this fantasy, horror, political, historical, you don't even know what genre to kind of call it, is intriguing. The title is exciting. It's, it, it also could, be, it could, could, could conjure up some scepticism. It's definitely strange. It's definitely unique. I'm talking about Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Yes, those two sound so discordant and so different and coming from two different poles completely. And that's really the, the beauty of a concept like this, uh, based on a novel of the same name, which was written in 2010. History prefers legends to men. It prefers nobility to brutality. Soaring speeches to quiet deeds. History remembers the battle, but forgets the blood. However, history remembers me before I was a president. It shall only remember a fraction of the truth. Yes, it's a mashup, sort of a, a space. And the skeptic in me was very, very nervous about, about a film like this at all. I mean, why would you take a historical figure like the president of America and, and make him into a vampire hunter at all to begin with? But that said, the, the concept had a lot of scope, it had a lot of potential, but unfortunately, director Timur Nembitov, who gave us the wonderful Wanted, uh, uh, which is a very popular film, really can't manage to really hold it together. The film starts off well, the, the tone is lovely in the beginning, I like the camera work, the shakiness of it, the mood, the lighting, the, the, the period feel of the film, the art direction, the sort of the flashback sort of moment where you see Abe Lincoln as a young boy and how he you know, had his desire to fight against slavery even at that stage. And then cut to how his mother dies and uh, he discovers the, the man his father works for is much more than the eye reveals and turns out to be a vampire. What is his mission? He finds a mentor called Henry, played by Dominic Cooper, and he sets out to become almost an action hero uh, or a superhero of sorts with all the familiar elements, a montage training sequence and, and becomes a vampire hunter. At the same time, side by side, he becomes and develops into the president of America. Now, the film, like like the title suggests, it has it, it's it's a catch-22 and, and therein lies the rub or the catch really because with this kind of a film and this kind of subject matter you're, you're, you're juggling a lot of genres and you're juggling a lot of material which is both at one level serious and socio-political and historical and at the same time uh, uh, you're, you're, you're bringing elements of hom uh, horror and vampire films and using a hell of a lot of uh, CGI and special effects and fa frankly an over-reliance on them. After a while, particularly one action sequence towards the end of the first act with horses, it comes out of absolutely no nowhere some of the action is almost laughable. The CGI and special effects are really bad and that's really surprising considering Tim Burton is one of the co-producers on the film. So in the first 25 minutes, 30 minutes, you're really hoping it picks up and goes somewhere and could have been really fun and entertaining and exciting and different. But frankly, it just gets stuck up in itself. It starts falling over its own feet because there's too much ground trying to be covered. The genres are all over the place. It's a hodgepodge. It's a mish mishmash. And frankly, even the, the lead actor, Benjamin Walters, who's an underrated theatre actor who, gives, who delivers an understated nice performance, just can't hold this one together. The supporting cast is far more colourful, though they, all, they also have very little to do and the editing becomes a little sloppy. Second half spans a huge amount of time, tries to cover way more ground in terms of action and historical events. And yet, it's just, at the end of the day, I was feeling like, who is the target audience of this film? It's not really a historical film. It's not really a film that's going to satisfy horror fans either. So, with this kind of film, it's difficult. I mean, it was, it, it had its moments. It was interesting in parts, but I would not say waste money and go and watch this one. Ira says, trash it. Only the living can kill the dead.